and and also <clears throat> pray for uh, precious long a special need for her and her children. Amen. Amen. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? You make them known by raising up your hand. God, we acknowledge this all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to approach your throne of grace, to receive mercy and help, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to gather together in this place of worship just one more time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy, Lord Jesus, that you show us every morning, Lord Jesus, that are new every morning, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for protecting us, Lord, and as we travel the dangerous highways and byways from the different parts of the city, Lord, as we made our way to this house of God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all that you want to do, Lord. And Lord, we ask, Lord, to for these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask but you also, Lord, bless the service right now. Lord, when I ask that you send the anointing, Lord, to make it, that destroys the old yoke, Lord. Lord, send the anointing, Lord, to make preaching easy, Lord. Lord, when I ask that you bless right now in your precious name, Lord. Lord, we bind the adversary on every hand, Lord. And Lord, we release your, Lord, we invite your presence, Lord, into the sanctuary, Lord. And Lord, we prefer to give your name the praise and the honor. Jesus, that we pray. Amen and amen.
Uh, first announcement is I would like to remind the church coming up uh, this Friday at 6 30 is Youth Night. Amen. Amen. For yeah. all of the young and young at heart, this is a service for the geared towards youth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And also, uh, I would like to also announce that coming up next Wednesday is also our church's annual business meeting. So all saints, please attend. Amen. And last but not least, uh, we'd like to uh, wish a very special young lady birthday today that is in our service. It's her birthday. And that is Tatiana. We'd like to wish you a birthday. Amen. So everybody, please wish uh, uh, ta uh, Tatiana a very happy birthday. Amen.
This is one of the best family activities that I know. Amen. Amen. I love this family activity. Amen. So I'd like to thank God for all he has done. And like that song says, it's God has smiled on me. God has been good to me. Y'all pray very much for Brother Rose.
Come on, thank the Lord for your power. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. How many long for the presence of the Lord? Amen, amen. That's that's what we look for. Amen. And I just, I just on a midweek service or a Sunday service. Amen. But I value, I value the presence of God. Amen. On Monday. Amen. On Tuesday. Yes, Lord. Praise God. I have a meeting. Yes, Lord. Amen. All the time. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. So we thank for we thank for one more time. Would you put your hands together? Amen. Bless the Lord. Jesus Christ was 
In fact, the Lord yeah. of the Sabbath. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and the other thing is they, they wanted to keep this man under their thumb. The fact is what one cannot control, they seek to destroy or simply minimize. In fact, they try to create enough stir to divert attention to what they deem, amen, as a threat rather than the will of God. Amen. People, people, this, this text kind of blows, amen, my mind because, amen, Jesus is touching the hearts and, and touching people and uh, not leaving people the same, amen. Uh, many people that were sick, many people that had uh, issues, many people that had all kind of problems when, amen, Jesus showed up on the scene in the time Amen. For him to fulfill his ministry, he actually began to uh, perform miracles. Amen. And sometimes it happened on a day that uh, they deemed that nobody should be healed. Yeah. Well, Praise God. That nobody should be, amen, touched or delivered. Amen. In fact, they had people that visited their synagogue, but the sick and the lame those that had issues could not actually darken the doors of the synagogue. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, these that were only for the so-called righteous. Yeah. Only the righteous could, amen, participate in temple uh, worship. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Those that were outside and couldn't enter are not being free, yeah. but dying in their mess. This is not the will of God. Man, God is not willing that any should perish. Amen. But that all would come to repentance. Hallelujah. They had no desire to see their people better. Just so long as they did not remove the man-made traditions that were established. Jesus was not sent, as the scripture would tell us, to move men that were whole. But it was those that were in need of a physician. Is there anybody in this house on a Wednesday night in need of a physician? Would you wave your hand unto the Lord here tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. The plague, the plague. I won't be before you long. I'll get out of the way here in just a few moments. The plague of our society is the idea that we are okay the way we are. Amen. And the truth is, ain't nobody all right in and among themselves. The problem is, it has become what is accepted. Hallelujah. And the thing that we can easily become accustomed to and see them as normal does not mean that it is acceptable according to Scripture and the Church of the Living God. Can I amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is acceptable as normal in society, if it does not ride with the word of the Lord, amen, then it is important that you and I, amen, stand up for what is right. Would you? Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Would you clap your hands to the Lord? In fact, would you lift your hand and perhaps stretch your hand towards me? And ask the Lord to help me right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To do that in the name of Jesus. Got the Holy Ghost. You know how to yield and pray. Would you do that in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. There, there is room yes. for everybody, everybody in the house of God. Yes. But such were some of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is the will of God that everybody come to the house of God, but not remain the same. The Lord, I used to allow my anger 
And I know none of you have this problem, but I did. I used to allow my anger to get the best of me. All mm. right, preacher. That's right. Amen. Praise God. But I'm born again. Right. Thank you, all three of you. Amen. I said I'm born again. Amen. Praise God. And because I'm born again, now I had to work through it. I'm not going to say it was over. The first amen year or two I was in the church, I had to work through that. Praise God. But the longer you live for God, come on. Amen. Oh, you shouldn't be a firecracker. I wish I had some help. I, I'm trying to, trying to get through here. Come on. The longer you live for God, the more the Lord helps us to learn how to harness this old flesh. I wish I had some help. Thank God. Come on. Thank God for the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Word of God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the things of God. And such were some of you. Praise God. Amen. There is change that happens when you and I, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but there's change that happens when you and I get into the house of God. Hallelujah. And, and overnight, overnight your sins are forgiven. Overnight your sins are washed away. Hallelujah. And at that moment you are rapture ready. Praise God. But there, then there comes that time where you have to look Learn and develop, hallelujah, how to be a man, a child that looks like and acts like and talks like, hallelujah. Even when they press the hot buttons, hallelujah, you still know how to humble yourself. I, I wish I had some help. You you still know how, hallelujah, to walk in with a smile, hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I had them do the same, uh, uh, Sister Rhodes. Uh, I've had them walk into my office, I, not because I've done anything wrong, uh, but because I didn't act the way that they wanted me to act, uh, because I didn't operate the way that they wanted me to operate, praise God. I've had them walk into the office, hallelujah, and I would say, well, thank you. May the Lord bless you, hallelujah, and somehow help you. Hallelujah. Amen. Back in the day, hallelujah, before, amen, I got into the house of the Lord, uh, that would have been my last day at the workplace. I wish I had some help. Amen. But there is something that happens uh, when the Holy Ghost comes uh, into your world. Hallelujah. And there's something that the Holy Ghost ain't going to make you act right. I said, the Holy Ghost ain't going to make you act right. The Holy Ghost ain't going to make you talk right. And it ain't going to make no excuse for any bad behavior. I wish I had some help. But somewhere and some place in our walk with God, the longer we live for God, somebody say harness, harness. You're going to have to put some harnessing upon this old flesh. And you're going to have to tempt the flesh. Come on. I'm going to wake up worshiper is on the inside. I'm going to wake up the worshiper. Is in me. Come on. I'm not here to act like everybody else. Is that alright? Amen. I'm trying to wake up the worshiper. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's an old creature. No. He's the same old firecracker he was before he was born again. No, no, no. No. He is a new creature. Scripture tells us that we are supposed to be something different than what we were. Oh, hallelujah. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. I don't know why this word keeps coming to my mind, but somebody say, harness. That old man, don't let him live. Wake up the worshiper that is in you. Come on, somebody shout, wake up the worshiper that is in you. Hallelujah. You were created to worship God. You were born to worship God. You weren't born to live according to the nastiness of our own flesh. Come on, somebody say, wake up the worshiper. That is in you. That's 
Let's rise. Shout it one more time. Wake up the worshiper.
and devoted and dedicated worshiper of God. My worship is not relegated to my situation. My, my, my devotion it goes deeper than a church service. And it doesn't matter who's here or who's not here. Come on. My, my devotion goes deeper. Praise God. I was a work. Come on, somebody. I was a worshiper and I was born again. When he pulled me out of my mess, I was a worshiper.
hallelujah, as we don't abandon our faith, amen, and walk into a building with our hands down. I mean, it's bad enough to know. I'm this, I'm this way. You can kick me to the curve after this. If, if I'm feeling down physically, I'm going to rest a little while. But too long in the house. Well, start messing with me. And I got to get up and move around. I wish I had some help. I can't stay down. I wish I had some help. I need to get up. Come on, somebody. And we got to learn how to get up sometimes. And sometimes the only way to get up is to wake up a worshiper that's on the inside. Because the outside might not look good, but Jesus, somebody said he's always, he's always good. good. And because he's always good, I can worship. I can throw up my hands. I can magnify the Lord. Oh, would you magnify the Lord with me? Would you exalt his name? shallow believers and worshipers. I don't want to make light of the real struggle we have sometimes. I just can't wait to get to another church service. But God wants to take us beyond just another church service. But your worship is enough to guide you until you show up to the house of God again. We can't be saved without a preacher. Amen. We need fellowship there is something to be said about real, unified, amen, praise and worship. In fact, we can't have a, a, a real Holy Ghost revival without true worship. Man, and I'm not just talking about a beat. Thank God for this good praise team. I'm not just talking about good vocals. Because you can get some talented people up here. And they can do everything without a broken heart. You give me somebody that don't even know how to play, bro. But they approach God with a broken right. and a contrite spirit. I'm telling you, I believe an anointing will fall on them. Yeah. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, thou wilt not despise. That's worship. Yes. As I was praying about this text, thought, thought came to my mind that there is a difference between a convicted sinner and one who enjoys the sin for which they are in. Right. There is, that's correct. You are correct. Because the Bible simply said, God. Hear it, not a sinner. Right. But that book said we all have sinned. Right. Oh, help us, Lord. So that might have counted me out. Until the Lord told me. And when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were convicted. Come on. When you hear preaching and you don't get convicted, Concerned about you. Right. Come on. I, I'm concerned. Hallelujah. And then there's there's two kinds of things that happen that, that doesn't really concern me as much. You can get mad at the preacher. Right. Yeah. I'm fine with that. You can you 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 might feel to the point where you want to do something about it. I'm okay with that. But when you sit there. And you stare at the preacher and ain't nothing bothering your spirit about what the word of God is saying about you or to you. I've got problems. I want to know what's going on because now you are hanging on the place where God don't even hear what you're saying. Oh, that boy, how can I get to that 
1629. Then he called for a light, sprang in, and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? The Philippian jailer trembled at the power of God. I'm afraid that oftentimes there's preaching, a move of God, and there are people that have no response to what God is saying. True worship says it's me. I mean me. And of course you and I cannot begin to try to categorize sin, right? Go ahead. Because sin is sin to God. Isn't that right? Right. To God, anything that doesn't align itself with the word is sin. The scripture said to him that knoweth to do good and do it in the To him it is sin. Uh, I don't want to take too much more time. Uh, but would you stay? We got to wake up the worshiper. Yeah. Oh, glory. Proverbs tells us there are six things that the Lord hates. Seven are an abomination. Okay. Okay. A proud look. Right. A lying tongue. A lying tongue. Hands that shed innocent blood. Uh -huh. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. Well. And feet that be swift in running to mischief. Well. A false witness that speaketh lies. Well, well. And he that soweth discord among the brethren. Among the brethren. Be careful. Uh huh. Trying to divide people. Uh -huh. mm. Preach. Take your time. Put your weight on the preacher. We got to wake up the worship. Yeah. And one of the ways to do that is keep the Father's commandments. Yes, sir. Forsake not the law, the mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them upon thy neck. Amen. Look at somebody and say, God's word is right. God's word is right. Amen. His ways are right. And, and, and it's a tragedy today that even in the church, people that have been raised in the church, they often now are questioning places that God put a period. Right. I've heard him say that's the way you believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. When you really begin to wake up to worship. Well, I feel like going back to the he that's showing discourse, I'm going to roll it here. The devil, I'm going to keep rolling. The devil has been using this stuff for centuries. Yes, sir. Now you're asking, well, does this really matter? Yeah, it matters. It's in the book, it matters. Just because it is a popular fact in society, it doesn't make it gospel. I, I, I like Paul's way of approaching Galatians. Who be with you? Easily persuaded. You go study Galatians. They were actually easily persuaded. And Paul said, Who has bewitched you? Y'all remember that old show? Can't do it. Bewitched. Yeah. <laughs> See, we took that other nose and performed some quick magic. That was the world trying to desensitize us to what was getting ready to come on the scene. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. With an innocent witch. Oh, foolish relations. Who? Who? If, if, please hear Brother Allen today. If an angel comes 
and preach any other gospel than the one that has been preached from this pulpit, from this word. Let them be accursed. Is that all right? Amen. Somebody say, love this truth. Love this truth. I love it. And sell it not. And sell it not. Come on. This is saying for sale. Amen. We are, we are waking up. We are waking up. The worshiper. The worshiper. That's it. That's it. Psalm 66 and 18 says this. If I regard iniquity in my heart. The Lord will not hear me. That's the born again believer in the city. So what does that mean? One translation says it like this. If I regard iniquity in my heart. That is. I know things are there. And I ain't doing nothing about it. God don't hear me. The child of God or not, if you have sin and refuse to do what is necessary, somehow you help this preacher. 28 and 9 said, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination to God. Amen. I'm trying to wake up the worshiper. Can I tell you what God delights in? The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. That's right. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It says, they that are of a forward heart are an abomination to the Lord. But such as are upright in their way are his delight. Paul and Silas prisoners in the cell. They were devoted men to God. And their devotion did not allow the chains to stop them from praising and worshiping the Lord. God heard them because they walked up right. Amen. How many, how many want to wake up the worshiper in you? Amen. Glory. You, you, you may already have him woke, woke awake. But the Lord gave me this for this. And uh, I believe he's trying to get somebody to wake up the worshiper that is in you. Yeah. Amen. And so, amen, if you want, just take somebody by the hand and Amen. Let's just lift it towards the heavens. And right where you stand, right where you stand. Amen. Right where you stand. You begin, you can begin to wake up that worship. Come on. Come on. Just begin to wake him up right now. If there are things in your heart that you have yet to deal with and repent of, it'd be a good time to do it because I want the Lord to hear me when I pray. I want the Lord to hear my worship and to receive my worship. This, 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 this is your choice. Can I tell you that worship is a choice that you have to make? It's up to you. Amen. So I'm going to ask you now to make your way to the altar for just a moment. Thank you, Lord. Lord have you. Hallelujah. I pray that tonight something that was said was encouraging, very helpful to somebody. Pray that it will encourage you. Hallelujah. As you go through your time. Hallelujah. So right now, if you could, just begin. If you need to ask God to forgive you, we need more than just go through the motions, but sincerely 
Ask the Lord to, if you need forgiveness, ask God to forgive you. If you want the Lord to touch you and you need, you're going through some, wake up the worshiper that's in you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, wake up the worshiper that's in you. God have your way. God have your way. Hallelujah. Come on, be a worshiper in the name of Jesus. Come on, be a worshiper in the name of the Lord. I said, just lift your hands and close your eyes. In the name of the Lord, begin to ask God to forgive you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can touch you right now. He's just looking for a worshiper. Hallelujah. He's looking for a worshiper. Hallelujah. You may not understand it completely, but just begin to ask God to help you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on these kids, God. Help them, Lord, to become worshipers of oh God. I feel the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, help me become worshipped. Come on, somebody get serious. Somebody that knows what it is and what it's all about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord.